Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Sean, and this video will be part two of the concrete approach. So if you haven't seen part one, I'll try and link it up here. But that was the demo of the initial concrete uh, asphalt approach and concrete sidewalk. So in this video, we'll be doing the setup and the pouring of the new approach. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is technically day three here because we had day one, we did all the demo, took all this asphalt concrete sidewalks out as you saw in part one. And yesterday, my dad and I actually stopped over here for about two hours or so and spread the gravel, got our grade. So we're six inches everywhere we could be. There's a few spots where we actually hit bedrock here. So those were about four and a half to five inches in a few spots here. You can see three humps, I think, but for the most part, we're about five and a half to six inches. So should be pretty good. And it really wasn't worth bringing a hammer in here to hammer those out for the additional cost so we're gonna get our forms in so we need one form along that grass connect our sidewalk and a little divider over there for where the utility pole is and that is pretty much it uh, the only other thing that might be uh, a little bit different is we have our grounding cable here for the electrical panel uh, mostly the uh, internet I believe that is or the cable so we'll make sure that we don't put that ground in the concrete. So we have a little piece of conduit here. So we have this little piece of one inch conduit I cut in half. Normally if I could disconnect this here and put a full piece of conduit in, that would be better. Unfortunately, this one goes into the building. There's nowhere to disconnect it and I'm not going to cut this and repair it. So we're going to put our one inch piece of conduit right in the concrete like that. And we'll keep that ground out of the concrete that way it doesn't corrode and break off over time. All right, it's a pretty straightforward setup here. We have our 32 foot mark actually, because this, we were supposed to only do 30, but having our 30 foot mark here just didn't make sense. So we're gonna do a 32, give them a little bit extra there. So that it comes down, just eyeballing straight with our uh, end here. We're gonna have a one by four here just to give us something better to edge off of. So we're gonna hold it up three quarters of an inch and should be pretty straightforward. So let's start with our two by six here. We'll get this in that way we know uh, where we can start from. Good tip is uh, you sight your board. We have a curve. We put our bow out because it's always easier to bring the bow in with a pin. You can't bring it out. All right, so this side's pretty much done. Uh, my dad's just getting this final side put in here. We'll get this last board in and we'll be on to the other side. So that'll be our sidewalk coming down and then our new approach to five to six inches here. So I'm gonna get started on framing out our telephone pole here and that'll pretty much be it. Okay, well we just got cleaned up here so pretty straightforward weren't really here very long so we've got our board in over here to separate that and separated our sidewalk over there so again we're looking across here as our new apron tie in with the existing asphalt on the road and I, I think we ended up being around 32 by 16 plus the little piece of sidewalk there so a little bit more than I expected initially I think we bid this at 15 by 30 but um, just to you know, make sure we got to the end of the asphalt there, make it look nice. I think it would have looked strange coming in another two feet. So we tried to give them as much room as we can. And I think we're gonna end up ordering on 11 yards for this since it's about six inches thick. So 
We'll uh, wait to see how the weather turns out because it looks like rain for the next few days, but I will catch up with you guys on poor day and I'll see you then. All right guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Sean and today is poor day. So if you haven't seen the setup and demo video, make sure to click here. I'll try to link it up above and check out that video first. This will be pouring that same job, the new approach apron for that entrance way for my buddy's HVAC company. So I'll meet you guys at the job site just after we load up some tools. All right. Looks good, thank you. Sorry, no, no problem, my fault. I'm watching for you. Yeah. You don't need to watch out for me. That looks okay. Yeah. Got a half a percent in there though. I can take some if you need it. I get this okay, go ahead. I'm a little high on this grass here, but I'll fix it later. Okay, how do you want to do this now? The whole thing? Oops. I'd say just fill us up and we'll just pull that way. Okay, hey, I left that hammer there. You just left okay. that board up. What? Okay. okay. Do you want to fill this whole thing then? Yeah, let's just uh, fill it up and we'll work our way that way, Jason. Turn the choke down, maybe? Uh, on your left side. Yeah. Yep.
that's uh, pretty much a wrap. And of course the camera died. Not sure how much of that time lapse you guys got, but we are all set here. So we have a broom finish. Didn't go back and uh, picture frame any of the edges because this is more of an industrial setup. So it doesn't need to uh, have all that extra detail. I mean, it's just functional at this point. So came out nice. Like I said before, I got six inches of concrete here. These are one by six, just to actually have a decent lip to edge against for that. Everything else just gets straight broom finish. And our caution tape is really blowing. It's a pretty windy day. And yeah, we'll call this one done. So I'll come back in another day or so, pull these forms, see how it's looking. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.